icons we strive towards the development of the construction industry and the innovation for the satisfaction of each of our clients. We care about the quality of each of our products and services. So that we may compete in the global construction industry and become one of the leading construction companies in Malaysia. Propcons, building with integrity and quality. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all the lecturers. I'm Nurin Azarina Binti Mama Azha, one of the group members of Proper Consonant and Berhad. We'll be presenting on the company background of Proper Consonant and Berhad. Let me start with some background information of our company, which is the establishment of our company. Proper Cons was established on 18th of March 2011 by our director, Awan Karil Anwar, to realize in his view of improving the quality of construction in Sarawak. <clears throat> With more than 15 years of experience in construction industry and a team of professional management, Propercon is ready to penetrate the market of Sarawak construction industry and improve the construction industry in terms of quality and also services. Our company registered under CIDB, LHD, and UPKJ, SPKK, Perkeso, SSM, BPKU, MOF, and also KWSB. Our company secretary is HMN Group. I would like to move into on to the next part, which is our company mission. Our company mission is to provide the highest quality service to our clients by the help of professional members of the company, constant training and supervision of each member of the company, and prioritize the safety and welfare of each worker on-site or off-site. Implementing different IPS in all of proper construction projects, planning an efficient and compact working set schedule while also minimizing the loss of money and in and time in case of any emergency or bad incidents occurring on site. And also making sure all members of the company are working together as a team to ensure all the works are done with quality and also integrity. Our vision of our company is to provide reliable and fast construction services, provide a safe and comfortable working environment, integrating IBS as one of our core methods of construction, meeting all the standards placed by our clients, and also we aspire to be the best and professional company, respected, trusted in the industry and community by providing an accident service to our clients. Made up capital for the company is 700,000 ringgit Malaysia and the company authorized capital is 2,500,000 Ringgit Malaysia. <clears throat> the shareholders of the company are the director and the chief executive minute officer, which uh, the director is Awang Karil Anwar bin Azaman, uh, shares 16% of the shareholder, and the chief executive officer, Dayang Intan Shazwani bin T. Abang Yusuf, 40% of the shareholder. Let's now turn to other board. Of directors in proper cons and young behind. We have project director which is me, Nurin Azarina Binti Mama Al Saha, and we also have contract director which is Mazia Faika Binti Ahmad. We also have administration director Aaron, Aaron Apollonius CTO and also financial director Nur Hasniza Binti Saina. So this is how our company organization chart looks like. This is the director follows, followed by chief executive officer and all the board of officers and other workers. I'm going to list out our company asset, which the first one is our office, which is located at Jalan Tunku Abdul Rahman uh, in Kuching. The machineries that our company own uh, are excavator, backhoe, material handling machine, bulldozer, and many more. Our company transportation are a pickup truck, lorries, and also van. Our company tools and equipments are laser level, precision, digital caliper, circular saw, jigsaw, investor, well dozer, and a lot more.
Well, that's it from me now. Now I will have to pass the next task to Aaron, our administration term. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Aaron Apollonius Sityol, the Administration Director of Proper Concern Iran Berhad, and I will be presenting on Task 2A and 2B. So this is the tender purchase form that has been purchased by Awang Khairul Anwar bin Azaman, which is the Director of Proper Concern Iran Berhad, on March, the 3rd of March 2020, and this uh, document is priced at 300 ringgit. So next is the letter of acceptance. This is the first page and our company is registered with CIDB in class G5 and G6. The tender price for the works is uh, 4,266,989 ringgit 8 cents. This is the second page of the letter of acceptance. This is the third page of the letter of acceptance. The project is 13 months in duration and it ends on 30th June 2022. This letter of acceptance is signed by Awang Khairul Anwar bin Azaman, the director of Proper Concern Dan Berhad, and it, it, it is witnessed by Dayang Intan Shazwani bin T. Abang Yusof, the chief executive officer of Proper Concern Dan Berhad. This is the fourth page of the company's letter of acceptance. Next up is the grant summary. So there are six bills in this grant summary of tender, which is Bill 1 is the pre preliminaries and general conditions, Bill 2 provisional sums, Bill 3 piling works, Bill 4 building works, Bill 5 external works, and Bill 6 mechanical and electrical works. So the total carried to form of tender is 4,266,989 ringgit 8 cents. And then the bill operates for our company's tender, which is listed uh, such as work below lowest floor level, frame, roof, internal wall, external wall, door, window, internal floor finishes, internal wall finishes, ceiling finishes, external finishes, and sundries. So this is the one of the build up rates that had been calculated by our company, uh, which is the sundries. And Sundries is in the category of building works. Lastly is the quotation letter door. This is the first page of the quotation letter door and it is attended by Dayang Intan Shazwani Binti Abang Yusof, the Chief Executive Officer of Propocon Sindiran Berhad to the company Supreme Door Sindiran Berhad. This is the second page of the quotation letter door and it shows the quantity of different doors that is needed for the project. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anwar I will and I will proceed with task 3. First, we have performance bond. So the performance bond acts as guarantee against the failure of another party to meet the contract requirement. So, performance bond exists as a guarantee in case any of the party decided to not follow the contract requirement. For example, when the contractor decided not to finish the project. This ensures that we, as a contractor, give some kind of guarantee to our client to ensure that they feel secure when making a business with us. The cost for this performance bond is 213349.08, which is 5% of the project total cost. Next, we have contractor all risk. Contractor all risk provides coverage to all damages incurred during the construction process, for example, damages to materials, machineries, and any bodily injury. So, we as a contractor are susceptible to damages or to any accident. So, by having this car, this, this insurance will have lessens our burden to have to pay for that damages or to compensate our workers in case any accident happens to them. The insurance cost for this is 6342.21. Next, we have public liability insurance. Public liability insurance covers for any damages caused by the company's activities towards the public. So, for example, if there is a car parked near our construction site and somehow our debris damages the car, this public liability insurance will compensate or will pay for the damages that happen to the car. The cost for this insurance is 
0.08. Next, we have workman compensation insurance. This workman compensation insurance protects the workers who are not covered by SOXO following the construction duties under workman compensation law 1952. So, this workman compensation covers our foreign workers and also our workers who are Malaysian who their wages exceed 3,000 ringgit. So, this ensures that we protect the rights and um, ensures that all of our workers are protected under in an insurance. This insurance costs 0.045.36 ringgit. Next, we have SOXO. SOXO, which is Social Security Organization, the purpose of SOXO is to register all the employee and employer and protect the play rights to get compensation whenever involved in accident when working with the company. This SOXO works very similar to woman compensation, but a little different since this SOXO um, usually applies to a Malaysian who are uh, who the wages are less than three thousand. SOXO also promotes the importance of the organizational safety and health of OSHA. So at the same time, SOXO also ensures that all the companies are following the organization safety and health policy to protect the workers. Site layout. It is important that the site layout will help minimize travel times, congestion, waiting time, and so on, and help them make the site more efficient workplace. For example, if you want to uh, make a good site layout, you must ensure that the traffic or the roads um, are following the workflow of the site. For example, you must place the work area close near to the site itself. Next is area arrow network diagram. Arrow network diagram is an efficient way to depict the order of tasks involved in a task or process, the best plan for a project as whole, and possible scheduling and resource problem and a potential solution. So by having this um, arrow diagram, we are able to recognize the area that may have a resource problem and many issues so that we can um, plan some kind of remedy or solution uh, so that during the construction all of the problems that may happen has been um, solved or has been recognized and we can easily solve them so that our um, construction process is efficient and more productive so as you see here this is the larger picture of how a network diagram actually forms and this network diagram consists of all activities that will be happening during the construction process. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all the lecturers. My name is Lang Inta Chazani and I'm from Proper Cons. So this is our work program. As you can see, our, our project started on 23rd April of 2020 and will end on the 1st September of 2021. Okay, so the project takes 396 days equivalent to 12 until 13 months along the period along the duration period we have excluded all the public holidays so the next step that will be our um, cash flow for the cash flow as you can see the highest cash amount of cash out is in august 2020 uh, which covers some of the preliminary work and also covers some of the wbluff the total amount of money in August 2020 is 526,277 ringgit and 52 cents which is um, records the highest amount of cash out during the entire of the project. So the, the works under WBLFF are um, pile caps, ground floor, I mean ground slab and ground beam so the next one will be our financial s curve for our financial s curve we have we have obtained the data from the cash flow and met it into an s curve which you can see as i have explained that the most cash out will be in august 2020 followed by july 2020 which is which is also covering some of the WBLFF and also some of the preliminary work. Those two records the highest amount of cash out.
So the next one will be our physical S curve. As for the physical S curve, it will show which month is the busiest month for our project. So as you can see, the busiest month is in March 2021. This is because most of the building works will perform in March 2021, which are superstructures such as roof and architectural uh, architectural works such as door, window, and things and finishes. And also covering some of the external works such as sewage system. So the next one will be our duration of the building works. As for the WBLFF, it will take 166 days. The framework will take 89 days. The roof will take 36 days. The staircase will take 9 days. The internal wall will take 30 days. External wall will take 40 days. However, the door will take 22 days. And then the next one will be the window. 34 days. The internal floor finishes will take. 11 days, internal ceiling finishes 17 days, internal wall finishes 33 days, external finishes will take 49 days, sanitary fittings will take 17 days, and the lastly is the sun dries that will take 9 days. And this is our site organizational chart. Hence, that's all from me today. I will pass the net. I will pass this to the next presenter which is Mazia Faika. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. I'm Mazia Faika from Proper Consular Bahad. I'm going to present about task for A and some of task for B. Site safety implementation plan. It is important to every project to implement with. It is to ensure the safety of a project. The plan is including health and safety management plan, Safety signage and site layout. Site safety policy is crucial to every construction project. It is to avoid any accident occur and ensure safety of worker and site. Daily work report is important to keep track the daily activities. It records all on site work, including hours work, type of work, equipment used, complete tasks, and daily weather report. Progress claim is Payment being made mainly as the work are completed. Usually, the claim is by percentage and completion of work. The extension of time in our project is because of first measure of COVID-19. It delays the project for 16 days. The second is version order by superintending officer. It delays the project by 20 days. Usually, if there is extension of time, some work will naturally postponed, so other calculations will change as well. This is the supporting document of EOT. GFORM and CCC is a certificate that verifies a building is safe and fit for occupation. It is only issued by after construction complied with the provision of laws, approved building plan, and also the condition set by local authorities in the approval of the building plan. Contract information is important to include in progress report. It is to make sure to easily refer the contract in the report. The information is including contract particular parties involved, project information chart, site organization chart, key plan, and site plan. That's all for me. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Noor Hasnindra Binti Zainal and today I'm going to presenting Task 4B. First, this is our executive summary for this project and it contains a short statement that has uh, information background for this project. And it's, this project are started at 23 April to 2020 and completed at 1 September 2020. The contract value of this project are 4289 427.74 This is our progress claim for March 2021. Progress claim is usually used in contract. It is claim for a payment being progressively as the work are completed. Progress claim is cost 288,000. 
Manpower schedule. Manpower schedule is daily manpower to carry out or complete the work. This is our manpower schedule for March 2021. Material schedule. This is our material schedule for March 2021. The purpose of the material schedule is to list the detail of construction material required for a specific job. Missionary schedule. This is our missionary schedule for March 2021. This schedule shows missionary use for each of the day. Poor schedule can result in waste. This is the list of version order in our project. One of version order which is change of file design make the contractor the request for the extension of time. This is our Quality assurance or quality control in this project, which contains of list of material approved and list of inspection. List of material approved is the list detail acceptable material that can be used in the construction. Next, list of inspection needed to conduct when the work have done to identify and correct defect. This is our activity report for safety and health. As a contractor, this is our responsibility to ensure that all work are performed in accordance with the project safety requirements and within the rules and regulations. The activity report regarding for safety and health is fogging. Fogging activity is carried out at site to prevent the breeding of insects, especially mosquitoes, which can cause dengue fever to the workers. Next one is fall protection. Fall protection should be installed, especially for high works, to protect the worker from debris and accident falls. Also, to avoid harm to people from object falling. Next, toolbox meeting. Toolbox meeting is important to make everybody aware of different safety aspects at work site to increase the safety at work place. The last one is inspection. Site safety inspection is a set regular activity to check and verify on field compliance including safety standards, working condition, and other critical area of work site. This is our weather chart report for March 2021. This chart is important to ensure all the work can be conducted accordingly to the work program. Lastly, this is our progress photograph that we show our progress in March 2021, which is our roof installation for roof structure, roof covering, and rainwater down pipe, and door installation. The next one is in our progress in March 2021, we are on window installation, sunrise installation for concrete frame, sewerage reticulation works, and mechanical and electrical works.